Okay, so this is an introduction, um, kind of an introductory video for the 23 acres uh, at Chalk Bluff uh, in Shannon County, Missouri. We've got the property here. It's actually three separate tracks. They total uh, a little over 23 acres. Um, so let's take a look here. Where to begin, where to begin. We've got the properties right here. Uh, this is the, the yellow lines indicate the easement roads and the blue lines indicate the uh, gravel creek beds. Let's go to topo map first. As long as we're zoomed in, that should be pretty useful. Um, so here you can see the, the three properties. Uh, the topo maps basically, when the lines are far apart, the land is, is flat, and as the lines get closer, it gets steeper. So what you'll see on, on the 23 acres is here off the road, you've got some flat areas, and basically it's kind of the end of a ridge where it slopes down as you go, uh, as you look to the south, the west, and the north. Um, so, I mean, you've got lots of options for building sites. It's going to be fairly flat up here if you wanted a flat site. Um, you're definitely going to have some great views. I mean, if you just look at how this land is situated, um, you might have to clear some of the smaller timbers, but you'll have views to the west, views to the south, views to the north. Um, interesting thing I didn't notice until just now, these little black dots on the topo maps. You can see one here and you can see a couple here, they generally indicate that there was a structure there at some point, and we find them surprisingly accurate. So even though a lot of these topo maps are from uh, like the 1950s, um, there was more than likely some kind of structure or camp or cabin or something in that spot right there, and these two spots to the upper right, which are, are nearby. Uh, but I would assume if you're going to go investigate and, and look closely at that spot, you'd probably see a foundation or some kind of sign of life. Um, because like I said, these topers are, are pretty accurate with, with marking that kind of stuff. Um, so the north side and the west side border this little gravel creek bed, and the south side borders another little gravel creek bed. And they are going to be wet weather creeks, so they likely won't have water all year. Uh, in the southern one, southern one here, there may be puddles all year. I'm really not sure. It just depends on how dry it gets. Um, but either way, on both of them, you're going to have um, quite a bit of, of free gravel, I guess, if you want to put it that way. And that's great for building sites and uh, landscaping projects and all that kind of stuff. So um, also, after it does rain, uh, these are likely to run for a little while and, and really look pretty. Um, we've never walked down to the creek beds on this property. Uh, we've only got gotten videos basically up here at the road because we had a lot of tracts out here. But... By and large, on every single tract in the Ozarks that borders some type of gravel creek bed, when we've walked down to them, we've discovered some really cool stuff. Uh, so here's a, a really unique opportunity to have three tracts, all with access on the easement road and all with frontage on the gravel creek beds. Um, so you're, I mean, you're virtually guaranteed to find some some pretty cool rock formations or potentially some springs. I mean, it just I don't know until you're out there. The fact that there the topo indicates that there was a structure here at some point. Generally, people back in the day, similar to today, uh, they picked their building sites and their campsites or whatnot for a reason. So there was likely a reason if someone had a building site there. Uh, and it could be, I mean, could be any number of reasons, but go check it out. I think it's pretty cool. Um, other thing I want to show is the shaded area right here is the Rocky Creek Conservation Area. And as that says, it's open for hunting and recreation. Um, the Rocky Creek Conservation Area is, is huge. This particular section right here, uh, there's about 3,000 contiguous acres. So you can own your 23 acres. You're going to have plenty of deer and turkey out here, especially if you set up any kind of food plots or, or any kind of feeding system. But if you want several thousand more acres to hunt, <laughs> it's only about a quarter mile to the east. Uh, so actually to get through the property, you'll take this road through the Rocky Creek Conservation Area, the forest road. You'll you'll cross over into the Chalk Bluff uh, little development here, and then you'll immediately go left on this easement road that goes to the south. Now, the one thing I want to point out is, as you can see on the topo, it does go down in this little valley and come back up. Um, so it's entirely likely that there are going to be some spots in that area that could be rough, and you absolutely want a truck or an SUV, preferably with four-wheel drive. Uh, I drove that in my truck a couple months ago, um, there were some spots that were a little washed, but I didn't even need four-wheel drive. But we would definitely recommend that you, you have a four-wheel drive with some clearance when you get out here because it's very likely that 
uh, you'll, you'll encounter some bad spots, particularly in this little area right here. Um, but you go down that valley, you come back up, land levels off, and you'll see a road that goes to the right, to the west, and you take that right on down to the property. And the road basically dead ends here, so extremely private. Um, we can absolutely send you the map right link. Uh, what it is is an interactive, it's this interactive map right here. But if you get the app on your phone, the map right app, which is free, and then we email you this, this map, you can open it within the app, and this map will pop up, and there'll be a blue dot to indicate where your phone is. It, it basically shows where you are, where your phone is. So you can use that to navigate through the forest roads. You can use that to get to the property. You can use that to know when you've arrived. You can use that when you're walking to, to know where you are in relation to the, the separate tracks and the 23 acres. It's awesome. Okay. Switch to Google Map here. Um, so all of Chalk Bluff was logged within the last four or five years. Some tracks were logged really heavily and some were not. This, this track really... It was just a pretty standard logging job. I wouldn't call it super heavy. Um, this aerial map is probably a year or two old, so there has been some growth since then. Um, I mean, you can check out the uh, the drone aerials that we took for recent photos, although those, even those are close to a year old because we worked on this project for a while before we finally were able to uh, actually own it. But let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so... If you are to continue going uh, west on this main road, uh, and this doesn't show it, but there's a road that actually continues through here, and you can you'll be at the actual Chalk Bluff, which is a beautiful um, bluff that overlooks the Jacks Fork River, and this is all within the uh, the Ozark National Scenic Riverways. You can Google that if you want info on that, but it's basically, um, a, I believe, like a national park that gives everybody access. Um, to the river. I don't know all the specifics, but I know it's pretty cool. Uh, and I know it encompasses most of the Jack's Fork River. And then um, as you go up into Eminence, I believe it also maybe does the current river. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but the Jack, Jack's Fork up here at the top of the video flows into Eminence. And then eventually I believe it does meet the current river. Uh, but since we've zoomed out, uh, let's look at the route to the property. So different maps have different small little forest roads. I'm only aware of one good way to, to go. Um, it's a lot of gravel. No matter which way you go, there's a lot of gravel. But the way that I would go, and I would highly recommend that, that you go if you're headed out this way, is take Highway E to the north. So Highway 60 is down a couple miles to the south. So we might as well zoom out and we'll look at that. Okay, let's look at this. So here on the south side of the video, the bottom, we have Highway 60. Um, Mountain View, Missouri on the bottom left. So if you're coming from Springfield, you go east on 60, go through Mountain View, keep on trucking, you'll get to Birch Tree, uh, which is a small little town, and then you'll go like three or four or five miles past Birch Tree, and you'll go north on Highway E right here. Okay, so let's pick it up from Highway E. So from Highway E, you go north. I'm not sure exactly how far it is, I believe it's like 10 miles, but again, I'm not positive, but you're going to be taking your taking a left just before you get to Highway 106. So if you run into Highway 106, you've gone maybe like half a mile uh, too far. Let's see. You've gone just under a mile too far if you get to Highway 106. So whip a Yui, <laughs> if it's clear, head south for a little under a mile, and then you'll go west onto the gravel road. Let's zoom in from there. I'm going to turn off the water feature layer on this map because that's getting a little confusing. There we go. Okay. Um, so this has it marked as Highway 412. There may or may not be a sign, um, but you can you can see it's about a mile south of Highway 106. So you'll go west off of Highway E onto the gravel road 412. You'll follow that, follow that, follow that, follow that. Stay on 412, stay on 412. Uh, I don't recall seeing this road, but I think the main the main road's pretty apparent, so stay on that, stay on that. Okay, now you're in the Rocky Creek Conservation Area. So I believe that would no longer be considered a county road, it would now be a forest road. Um, and forest roads are generally pretty solid, but you can't go 50 miles an hour like you can on a, on a county road. 
Um, they're just not made for that. So you're going to have to slow it down a little bit. Uh, okay, so they're trucking through the forest. There, and you will see different roads that shoot off in different directions. If I go to the topo map, it might show that. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, generally, um, this road that shows the most traffic uh, is the road to Chalk Bluff. And that's not saying that, that it's a busy road, it's just saying the other roads have virtually no traffic at all, so there's likely grass grown up in those. So you're just staying on this, this main forest road. It jogs around a little bit, but you'll just keep heading west. And then as soon as you get to Chalk Bluff, uh, it should be fairly apparent because this uh, conservation area um, probably hasn't been logged for several hundred years and it has massive timber. And when you get into the Chalk Bluff area that's had the logging within the last four or five years, uh, you will be able to notice it. And then, of course, once you once you enter Chalk Bluff, you'll take your very first left, and that'll take you down uh, through the little valley and back up again, hang a right to get to the property. So this video got much longer than I expected, but uh, it does kind of show things. As long as we're on the topo, so this, this shows that road uh, that does go through and uh, brings you right to Chalk Bluff. I, I'm not 100% sure about the status of this property here. I believe that's uh, called Pioneer Forest, which is essentially private land that is maintained um, for some type of foundation that they they never want um, never want to sell it or some deal like that. So I, I don't know about the status of this road, but um, either way, that gives you a pretty good overview of the area there. Okay, so let's call that good. That's uh, Go to the street map just for fun. And we'll zoom way out. Oop. Okay, so this isn't a bad shot. So this shows the, the property here towards the center. Up here, this is Eminence. If you follow Highway 19 down, this is Winona. Um, and then here's Highway E. Let's go way out in case people aren't completely familiar with this area of Missouri. So on the map right map, uh, I turned on the layer for uh, federal or state land. So all these colored areas, those are uh, essentially land that's open for public use. The light green is the Mark Twain National Forest. The purple uh, is the uh, Ozark National Scenic Riverways. And uh, the blue is probably state forest. Um, but either way, I mean, that shows you the kind of land that you have to use in this area. And the Ozarks are, are known for having quite a bit of public land, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so here off to the left side, you've got Springfield. Uh, that's where the office, our office is located. Uh, so for us to go to the property, we take Highway 60 to the east, past Mountain View, past the little town of Birch Tree, go north on Highway E, proceed west on what looked like County Road 412, and then be sure to print the maps. Um, and if possible, get that map right app and we'll send you the link. That thing is awesome. Uh, that'll really keep you from getting turned around on these little county roads. And I've been turned around on these little county roads, and uh, it was a long afternoon. So if you can print the maps and get the map right, you'll be good to go. Um, thanks for, if you're still watching, thank you. This was a long video, I know. If you have any questions, hit us up at sales at instantacres.com. And as always, to see if this property is available, uh, please go to our website at instantacres.com.